This video is about how to install shock absorbers on a rather inexpensive trailer and get a lot better performance out of it. The basic problem is these Chinese or off-brand trailers come with just the leaf springs which you can probably see down here through the grating but there's uh, there's not much behind that not much uh, not much to help it. Let me get the camera down in there so those leaf springs are, are okay but this trailer tends to bounce and it bounces quite a bit so I finally figured out what to do in order to fix it so these uh, the diameter of the axle is actually one and three quarters of an inch and this is just a very standard muffler clamp that you could probably get at almost any auto parts store and so what we're going to do is just simply go down there and we're going to put the clamp on, or maybe a couple of them, build a plate uh, for the adapter. So we have a, an aluminum piece of pipe here that's one and three quarters of an inch diameter, so it matches up to the muffler clamps I, I demonstrated. And then uh, we're going to take a steel plate. This is quarter inch steel. It doesn't have to be super heavy, but heavy enough. And uh, it should fit over here onto those bolts like that and then what that allows is this little mounting bracket that I found for shock absorbers that will be a or welded on here this is a weld on type mount even though it has a hole in it uh, we're gonna put it downward and at an angle like that if that were if we were looking backwards in the trailer to the left hand side so uh, the shock is going to be distributing uh, the energy this way and downward and outward and the companion to this will be much smaller plate with a, a steel bolt welded to it it will mount up in the center of the frame because I've got a, a mounting hole to do it and it too will be at an angle and so we'll have a pair of these The shock absorber is now in position on the plate that uh, I've ended up making. I had to do a departure from what I showed earlier. I had to make, of course, an adapter to go up here to make a hard point so that that shock bolt could go through there and be used in that manner. And then, similarly, the one down here screwed to this big plate that I showed you previously. The only change was really to go and get one of those square nuts that you can get at the various hardware stores. Uh, construction square nut. It's got a half inch hole in it. I'm going to provide a picture for it and then weld that on there. This is a 45 degree angle and the same up here 45 degree angle so that they work in line and there's an outward spread kind of like I'd wanted and that's basically it I'll put the other one in and then I'll start road testing to see does this really work and I think it should because there's a fair amount of pressure on it <laughs> 